my highly valued, treasured, and esteemed viewers and listeners, and welcome back to your channel of choice. My name is Dr. Nat Narwa. I am a clinical pharmacist by training and by profession, and I am the founder of Progressive Pharmacotherapy Consultants, a premier virtual clinical pharmacy institute for capacity building for healthcare workers. The Virtual Clinical Pharmacy Institute, with a difference, we are patient safety, medication therapy management, and optimal clinical outcomes are very crucial and non-negotiable to us. Here, we seek to remain your premier source of crucial tips for high-impact pharmacotherapy services. So I humbly urge you to sit back and spare me part of your very precious time to share with you some precious tips which may prove useful in your line of duty. A uh, video is entitled Pediatric Oral Extemporaneous Preparations Made Easier. Now I'd like to start by saying that oral liquid medications are commonly extemporaneously prepared because of a relative lack of licensed formulations for groups such as the pediatrics, the very young ones, and the elderly and the frail who are unable to swallow full tablets or capsules, or for whom the prescribed or required doses are less than single tablets or capsules. When tablets are used as a starting material or a raw material for extemporaneously preparing a suspension, care should be taken to ensure that the ground they are ground, sorry, in a mortar using a pistol to a fine uniform powder. Now, I would like to caution you that a lack of uniformity in particle size may have a detrimental effect on dose uniformity. And it is on this background that I have recorded this video to empower you and to encourage you to make a difference in the lives of those for whom whole tablets or capsules aren't the most ideal drug form. Welcome to this part of our video. Next we have Leviteracetam, 50 milligrams per ml. Now for this product we require 10 tablets of Leviteracetam or Kepra, 750 milligrams. Now, this is a film coated product. I would encourage you to slightly wet the tablets with a small amount of water to soften them to hasten the process of crushing the tablets. Now, after crushing and micronizing the tablets, we require around 150 ml of the vehicle, which is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet, to suspend the product. After homogenizing, such a product is stable for 30 days under refrigeration or at room temperature. Our next product is Levothyroxine 15 micrograms per ml. So I'd encourage you to do your med math and calculate the volume of vehicle and the number of tablets desired. Our vehicle in this case is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Suite. After homogenizing, such a product is stable for two weeks, 14 days under refrigeration. Our next product is Loperamide, 1 mg per 5 ml. So the vehicle in this case is Aura Sweet alone. So I'd encourage you to do your med math, calculate the number of capsules required and the volume of Aura Sweet required, then empty powder from the capsules into a mortar and a pistol and add the aura switch gradually while mixing to obtain a uniform suspension. Now after homogenizing such a product is stable for two weeks under refrigeration. Our next product is lorazepam 200 mics per ml. Now for this product, we require 10 tablets of 1 mg lorazepam, which should be crushed and micronized. For purposes of suspending, we require up to 50 ml of the vehicle, 
which is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. After homogenizing, such a product is stable for 14 days under refrigeration. Our next product is Losatan 2.5 mg per ml. So I'd encourage you to count out the total number of Losatan 50 mg tablets that you require. Place them in a mortar, slightly add water and let the tablet soak. It's, remember it's film coated. After it has softened, you can then crush and levigate the tablets to make a smooth paste. You can then add the vehicle in small amounts while mixing to the paste until a liquid suspension is formed. We can then transfer this liquid suspension to the graduate and use the addition of vehicle to rinse the remaining drug from the mortar. This should also be added to the graduate. We should then make up to the final volume desired in the graduate using the balance of the vehicle, after which we should stir well to homogenize the product. Such a product should then be transferred into an amber-colored bottle which should be labeled appropriately. Now for this product we require 5 tablets of Losatan 50mg, 5 ml of distilled water and approximately 95 ml of the vehicle which is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. Now after homogenizing such a product is stable for 28 days under refrigeration. Next, we'll talk about metoprol 10 mg per ml. Now, for this product, we require 24 tablets of the 50 mg metoprol, which should be crushed and micronized. And for purposes of suspending the powder, we require approximately 120 ml of the vehicle, which is a mix of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. After homogenizing, such a product is stable for 60 days under refrigeration. Our next product is metformin, 100 mg per ml. For this product, we require 20 tablets of 500 mg metformin, which should be crushed and micronized. And for purposes of suspending, we require a total of 100 ml of the vehicle, which is a mix of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. After homogenizing, such a suspension is stable for seven days at room temperature. Now, for metolazone, one milligram per ml, we require ten tablets of metolazone, ten milligrams, which should be crushed and micronized. For purposes of suspending, we require. 100 ml of the vehicle, which is a mix of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. After homogenizing the product, it is stable under refrigeration for 60 days. Our next product is Midazolam, 3 mg per ml. So you can prepare this by withdrawing a total of 300 ml of Midazolam injection using 60 ml syringes and 18 gauge needles. This injection should be transferred into a graduated measuring container. We should then make up the final volume of 500 with chocolate syrup and star well. We should then transfer the contents of the graduate into an amber colored bottle and label appropriately. I should label the remainder of the midazolam injection with a 30 day expiry, clearly reading for oral use only to avoid wastage. Now for this particular product, we require a total of 300 ml of the injection and uh, up to 500 ml of the chocolate syrup 
and after homogenizing such a product is stable for 60 days at room temperature for the case of midazolam 1 mg per ml we need to withdraw 300 ml of the injection in a similar manner like the previous one and transfer the injection into a graduated measuring container and uh, top up to a final volume of 1500 ml in simple syrup you should then stir well and transfer the contents of this graduated container into an amber colored glass bottle which should be labeled appropriately and uh, we should label the remainder of the injection with 30 day expiry with a caution that it should be for oral use only so for this product we require apart from the injection we require 1500 ml of the simple syrup and uh, such a product is stable under refrigeration for 28 days our next product is nifedipine 4 milligrams per ml I encourage you to do your MedMath and establish the number of tablets required and the total volume of the vehicle required. Our vehicle in this case is a mixture of Oracus and Orasuit. After homogenizing, the product is stable for 91 days at room temperature. The next product is nitrofurantoin, 10 mg per ml which is obtained from 15 tablets of nitrofurantoin 100 mg after micronizing it is suspended using up to 150 ml of the vehicle which in this case is a mixture of ora plus and ora sweet after homogenizing the final product is stable for 70 days at room temperature and 91 days under refrigeration next we have a ppi or meprazole 2 mg per ml so if you are obtaining it from the capsules empty the contents of the capsules into a graduate and add the buffer sodium bicarbonate allow it to sit for 30 minutes to dissolve the granules then stir well and transfer the final product into an amber colored glass container which should then be labeled appropriately now for this product we require 12 capsules of omeprazole 20 milligrams we can also choose to use omeprazole maps in this case in which case you then drop the maps into a bottle containing the desired volume of the buffer which is approximately 120 milliliters of sodium bicarbonate now after homogenizing such a final product is stable for 45 days under refrigeration our next product is oseltamivir 6 milligrams per ml so to prepare this product we should place water in an amber colored bottle and empty the contents of the capsule into the bottle and gently swirl for two minutes we should then add the vehicle while mixing well after each addition we should then close the bottle and shake well for half a minute to ensure homogeneous distribution of the product we should then transfer the suspension into the amber glass bottle the final product should be appropriately labeled now for this product we require six capsules of ocel tamivir 75 milligrams 5 ml of purified water 69 ml of aura sweet and such a product after homogenizing is stable for 35 days under refrigeration next product is phenobarbital 10 milligrams per ml 
Now for this product we require 10 tablets of phenobarbital 30 milligrams which should be micronized and suspended in uh, up to 30 ml of our vehicle which is this case is a mixture of Ora Plus and Ora Switch. After homogenizing such a product is stable at room temperature for 115 days. Our next product is phenobarbital 3 mg per ml for which we require 10 tablets of phenobarbital 30 mg and up to 100 ml of the vehicle which is a mix of Ora Plus and Ora Switch. Now after homogenizing such a product is stable for 28 days at room temperature. Our next product is phenoxybenzamine, 1 mg per ml. Now for this product we require 3 capsules of phenoxybenzamine, 10 mg, which should be added to the motor and pistol and suspended in up to 30 ml of our vehicle which is a mixture of Ora Plus and Ora Suite. After homogenizing, such a product is stable for three days at room temperature. Our next product is Pantobrazol, 2 mg per ml, which can be compounded by adding the 40 mg tablets to a graduated vessel after which we would add the buffer, sodium bicarbonate, occasionally swelling and allow it to sit for 30 minutes in order to dissolve the granules. We should then stir well and transfer the final product into an amber colored glass bottle, which should then be labeled appropriately. Now such a homogeneous product is stable for 62 days under refrigeration so i would encourage you to do your med math and establish the volume of buffer you require and the total number of 40 milligram tablets desired next we have prednison 5 milligrams per ml so to prepare this we would place the desired number of tablets into a mortar and cover the tablets with sterile water and part of the flavoring. We let it soak for a few minutes after which we would levigate the powder with a small amount of simple syrup to form a paste. We then add more simple syrup to the paste until a liquid is formed or obtained after which we we'll transfer the resultant suspension into a graduated mesher. We we'll then use additional simple syrup to rinse the remaining medication or drug from the mortar. We we'll then make up to the final volume desired in the graduated vessel using simple syrup. We we'll then have to stir it well to homogenize the product and transfer the final product into an amber colored bottle. We should then label the bottle accordingly. Now for this product we require a thousand tablets of prednison 5 milligrams. We require surgical water for irrigation at around uh, 40 ml of that. We require artificial banana flavor around 30 ml of the flavor and uh, the simple syrup should be added till the final volume is a thousand ml. Such a homogenized product has a stability of 60 days under refrigeration. Next we have propranol 1 mg per ml. So I encourage you to do your med math and establish the desired number of tablets and the volume of the vehicle required. In this case, our vehicle is Aura Suite only. So after suspending and homogenizing, such a product is stable for 45 days under refrigeration. 
Remember, propranolol is film coated, so I would encourage you to soften the tablets first by adding a small amount of water before crushing and micronizing. Next, we have propyl thiouracil, 5 mg per ml. To obtain this, we require 20 tablets of 50 mg propyl thiouracil, which should be crushed and micronized and suspended using up to 200 ml of the vehicle, which is a mix of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. After homogenizing the final product, it has a stability of 91 days under refrigeration. Next, we have pyrazinamide, 100 mg per ml. To obtain this, we require 20 tablets of 500 mg pyrazinamide. We should crush and micronize them before suspending them in a total of up to 100 ml of simple syrup, which is the vehicle in this case. Do not exceed a final volume of 100. Now after homogenizing, such a suspension is stable for 60 days under refrigeration and for 28 days at room temperature. Next we have pyrazinamide, 10 mg per ml. So I would encourage you to do your med math and establish the desired number of tablets and the volume of the vehicle, which in this case is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. Now, after homogenizing, the final product is stable for 60 days at room temperature. Our next product is pyridoxine hydrochloride, 1 mg per ml. So, to prepare this, uh, we need to use the injection. So, we withdraw the solution from the vial and transfer it to a graduate, then add the desired volume of the vehicle and stir well then transfer the prepared suspension into an amber colored glass bottle which should then be labeled appropriately so for this product we require 1 times 100 milligrams per ml of the pyridoxine we require 100 ml of simple syrup which is our vehicle in this case and uh, after homogenizing the product here is stable for 30 days under refrigeration. We can also obtain pyridoxine 10 mg per ml from tablets. So I'd encourage you to do your med math and establish the total number of tablets and the volume of the vehicle. Now such tablets should be crushed into fine powder using a mortar and a pestle. We should then add some of the vehicle while mixing to form a paste then a slurry we should then pour the slurry into a graduate and rinse out the remaining drug from the mortar and pistol into the graduate we should then add more vehicle to the desired final volume in the graduate mix thoroughly then transfer the final product into an amber colored bottle which should then be appropriately labeled. Now our vehicle in this case is Aura Plus only. After homogenizing, such a product is stable for 28 days at room temperature. The next product is Pyridoxin. 25 milligrams per ml. So we obtain this by crushing the desired number of tablets to a fine powder using a mortar and a pestle. We should then add some of the vehicle to the powder while mixing to form a paste. Then continue adding part of the vehicle till a slurry is obtained which should be poured into the graduate. We should then rinse out any remaining particles from the motor and transfer it to the graduate. After which we should top up the contents of the graduate to the final desired volume. 
such a product should then be labeled appropriately after being transferred into an amber colored bottle. Now in this case our vehicle is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet and after homogenizing such a product is stable for 91 days under refrigeration. The next product is Rifabutin 20 mg per ml. So to compound this, we empty the contents of Rifabutin capsules into a mortar and uh, triturate the product to obtain a fine powder which should then be wetted with a minimum amount of the vehicle while navigating till a viscous product is formed. It should be viscous but smooth and uniform. Then we should continue adding the vehicle while mixing with each addition. After obtaining a slurry, the slurry should be transferred into a graduate The mortar should then be rinsed with the vehicle and uh, whatever we rinse from the mortar should be transferred to the graduate. We should then top up to the final desired volume using our vehicle and stir well to homogenize. The final product should then be transferred into an amber colored glass bottle which should then be labeled appropriately. Now for this product we require 8 capsules of 150 mg rifabutin and uh, up to 60 ml of the vehicle which is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. And after homogenizing such a product is stable for 84 days under refrigeration. Our next product is Refam. 10 milligrams or rifampicin 10 milligrams per ml. So to compound this we should empty the contents of the capsules into a mortar and triturate to obtain a fine powder which should then be wetted with minimal amounts of the vehicle while navigating till a viscous but smooth and uniform paste is obtained. We should then continue adding the vehicle while mixing until a slurry is formed, which should then be transferred to the graduate. We should then rinse the mortar with the vehicle and add whatever we've rinsed out into the graduate. We should then top up to the final recommended mark or volume with the vehicle, after which we should mix thoroughly before transferring the syrup or the suspension into an amber colored bottle which should then be labeled appropriately. Now for this particular product we require four capsules of rifampicin 300 milligrams and uh, up to 120 ml of simple syrup and after homogenizing such a product is stable for 42 days at room temperature. The next product is Rifaximin 20 mg per ml. So we should uh, first of all micronize the product and titrate to a fine powder which should then be wetted with a minimum amount of the vehicle. We should also levigate to obtain a viscous but smooth and uniform paste. We should then continue adding the vehicle as we mix well after each addition. When we obtain a slurry it should be transferred to the graduate. We should then rinse the mortar with the vehicle and add whatever is rinsed into the graduate. After that we should finally top up the vehicle to the desired final volume of the suspension and transfer after mixing well into an amber colored glass bottle which should then be labeled appropriately.
Now for this product, we require a total of six capsules of 200 milligrams rifaximin and uh, the volume of the vehicle should be up to 60 ml. The vehicle in this case is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Suite. And such a product is stable for 60 days at room temperature. The next product is Sildenafil 2.5 mg per ml. I would encourage you to do your med math and establish the desired number of tablets and the total volume of the vehicle to be used. The vehicle in this case is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Suite. Now after homogenizing such a product, it is stable for 91 days under refrigeration. Our next product is Sildenafil 2 mg per ml for which we require one tablet of 100 mg Sildenafil and a total of up to 50 ml of the vehicle which is a mix of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. Now after homogenizing such a product is stable for 28 days at room temperature. The next product is Sotalol 5 mg per ml. Now for this product we need to crush one tablet of Sotalol 160 mg. We require a total of 32 ml of the vehicle which is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. Now after homogenizing such a product is stable for 60 days at room temperature. The next product is Spironolactone, 25 milligrams per ml. So I encourage you to do the MedMath, obtain the number of uh, tablets required and the total volume of vehicle that you need for purposes of suspending the vehicle in this case is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. After homogenizing, the final product is stable at room temperature for 60 days, 2 months. Our next product is Tacrolimus, 0.5 mg per ml. So to prepare this, you should empty the contents of the capsules into a mortar and pistol and triturate to obtain a fine powder which should then be wetted with a minimum amount of Aura Plus that should then be levigated to form a viscous but smooth and uniform paste. You should then continue adding the Aura Plus geometrically while mixing after each addition. After obtaining a slurry we should then transfer the slurry to the graduate and rinse the mortar and pistol accordingly and add whatever we've rinsed to the graduate. We should then top up to a final volume using simple syrup and stir well. Now such a homogeneous product should then be transferred to an amber colored bottle which should be labeled appropriately. Now to obtain this product we require 6 capsules of Tacrolimus 5mg, 30 ml of Aura Plus and 30 ml of Simple Syrup. Now after homogenizing such a product is stable for 56 days at room temperature. The next product is Tacrolimus 1 mg per ml. Now for this one we require 20 capsules of 5 mg Tacrolimus and a total of 100 ml of the vehicle which in this case is a mix of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. Now after homogenizing the final product is stable at room temperature for 28 days. Next, we have Tadalafil 5 mg per ml. I would encourage you to do your med math and establish the desired number of tablets and the desired volume of vehicle to be used for purposes of suspending. Our vehicle in this case is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Suite. 
So such a suspension after homogenizing is stable for 91 days at room temperature. Next we have temozolamide 10 mg per ml. So to prepare this we empty the contents of the capsules into a mortar and triturate to a fine powder and assure thorough mixing. We should then add 3 to 5 ml of the aura mix sugar free and levigate to form a smooth and uniform paste. We should then add more of this vehicle geometrically mixing well after each addition. On obtaining a slurry, the slurry should be transferred to a graduate. We should then rinse the mortar with the vehicle and add whatever we've rinsed to the graduate. After which we should top up to the desired final volume and stir well. Now the final product should then be transferred into an amber glass bottle and labeled appropriately. Now to prepare this we require six capsules of temozolamide 100 milligrams and uh, approximately 60 ml of the aura mix sugar free and after homogenizing such a product is stable for 56 days under refrigeration. Our next product is tabinafin 25 milligrams per ml. For this one we require 10 tablets of 250 milligrams tabinafin and uh, approximately 100 ml of the vehicle which is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. Now after homogenizing such a product is stable under refrigeration for 42 days. Next we have Topiramid 6 milligrams per ml for which we require 12 tablets of Topiramid 50 milligrams and uh, approximately 100 ml of the vehicle which is a mix of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. On homogenizing, such a product is stable for 90 days under refrigeration. Next we have Tramadol 5 mg per ml. Now to obtain this, we should empty the contents of the capsules into the mortar and triturate to obtain a fine powder which should then be wetted with minimal amounts of the vehicle and then navigated to form a viscous but smooth and uniform paste. We should continue adding this vehicle while mixing after each addition and uh, transfer the slurry obtained into a graduate. We should then rinse the mortar with part of the vehicle and add the whatever we rinsed to the graduate then we should finally top up to the desired volume using the balance of the vehicle. After stirring well, we should then transfer the final product into an amber colored glass bottle which should then be labeled appropriately. Now for this product we require 6 capsules of uh, Tramadol 50 mg and approximately 60 ml of the vehicle which is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. And such a product after homogenizing is stable for 90 days under refrigeration. Next, we have usodeoxycholic acid 50 mg per ml. I would encourage you to do your med math to establish the number of tablets and the total volume of vehicle desired. The vehicle in this case is a mix of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. On homogenizing, the suspension obtained is stable for 90 days under refrigeration. Next we have acyclovir, 50 mg per ml. Now I would like to caution you that you require contact precaution when compounding this. It must be prepared in a biological safety cabinet with proper personal protective equipment. So we start off by crushing the tablets in a mortar and a pistol and triturating to form a fine powder which should then be wetted with minimum amount of the vehicle as we levigate to form a viscous but smooth and uniform paste. We should then continue adding the vehicle while mixing after each addition 
and on obtaining the slurry, the slurry should be transferred to a graduate. Now we should then rinse the mortar with the vehicle and add whatever we rinse to the graduates and top up the contents of the graduate to the final desired volume. We should then stir the final product and transfer it to an ember colored glass bottle which should be labeled appropriately. So for this particular product we use Aura Suite only as our vehicle. We do not use Aura Plus at all at all. And after homogenizing such a product is stable for 21 days under refrigeration. The next product is Val Ganciclovia 60 mg per ml. So I would like to start by cautioning you that contact precaution is required and this product must be compounded in a biological safety cabinet while donning appropriate PPEs. So you start by crushing the tablets in a mortar using a pistol and triturating to a fine powder which should then be wetted with the minimal amount of the vehicle should be levigated to form a viscous but smooth and uniform paste. We should continue adding the vehicle while mixing after each addition. Now, when a slurry is obtained, it should be transferred into a graduate. We should then rinse the mortar with the vehicle, adding whatever we've rinsed to the graduate and should then finally top up the contents of the graduate to the desired final volume. We should then stir well to homogenize and transfer the final product into an amber colored glass bottle which should be labeled appropriately. Now to obtain this product we require 16 tablets of Valgan Cyclovia for 15 milligrams and uh, approximately 120 ml of the FACO which is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. Now after homogenizing such a product is stable for 35 days under refrigeration. Next we have Verapamil 50 mg per ml. I would encourage you to do your med math to establish the number of tablets desired and the volume of the vehicle to be used for purposes of suspension. Now, vehicle in this case is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. And after homogenizing, such a product is stable for 60 days under refrigeration and at room temperature. Next, we have Venlafaxin 5 mg per ml. To obtain this product, we require three tablets of the 75 mg Venlafaxin tablets and uh, approximately 45 ml of the vehicle which is a mix of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. After homogenizing, this product is stable for 15 days under refrigeration. Next we have Wafferin 200 mics per ml. Now to obtain this, we require 4 tablets of Wafferin 5 mg and approximately 100 ml of the vehicle, which is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet. After homogenizing, the product obtained is stable for 7 days at room temperature. Our final product is Zonisamide, 10 mg per ml. Now to obtain this, we require 10 capsules of zonisamide 100 milligrams which should be emptied into a mortar and a pistol. You should then use the pistol to triturate it and add the vehicle stepwise to obtain a slurry which should be transferred to a graduate before finally topping up to a volume of 100 ml. Now the vehicle in this case is a mixture of Aura Plus and Aura Sweet and we require approximately 100 ml for every 10 capsules. Now, after homogenizing and transferring to an amber colored glass bottle, such a product is stable for 90 days under refrigeration. Now, that slide shows the references 
that I used when compiling material for this particular video. I borrowed heavily from the handbook of extemporaneous preparation from the nationwide children's hospital formulations and from the sick kids pharmacy formulations among others there you have it my esteemed fellow pharmaceutical practitioners as we have come to the end of this presentation I would like to encourage you to internalize its contents I would like to motivate you to take action and motivate yourself and to embark on the extemporaneous preparation journey for the sake of the pediatric population and the elderly or the frail patients who can't take tablets or capsules. I hope you benefited from this video. Thank you very much.